we're playing this warm-up game, I want you to kind of just walk me through what you want out of this lesson. Sure, let's do a restart. My controller's being a little wonk. Sure, no problem. If I could pick, if I could pick one character today for you to work on, who should it be? Um, Peach Sheik. Peach or Sheik? Okay. Uh, I'll work on Sheik first. So, while we do this quick friendly, talk you know at your own comfort level, but you know, what do you kind of want to get out of this? Um. I've been doing really well at locals when I moved from Chicago, um, and so now I feel like I just need to improve my neutral, which is, I guess, a pretty lame answer, but... Uh -huh. So that's just one big area that you're kind of feeling is like, even though you're winning or doing okay, like, there's still like a big thing that you kind of want to improve on. Does that, that sound about right? Yeah, um, trust me, sorry. sorry. I don't talk a lot when I play. No, no, it's okay. I just want to make sure I didn't lose you. To kind of sum up what you just said, you said that you feel like you're doing okay in tournament, but there's kind of like this unknown piece of the game you're missing. Um, not particularly. So, like, my punish game is rarely my issue anymore, and it comes down to more like matchup knowledge and doing better against fall fast fallers than I do against. Um, doing much better against fast fallers than I do against uh, floaties. Okay, so your combo tree is a little bit better on space animals. And your neutral game, would you say both of them, or just... Um, I guess both of them, sure. Okay, and then, so for your your floaties, both your combo game and your neutral game are a little less developed. Does that sound right? My combo game's fine on them, actually. Okay. So just in neutral, in general, is just a little less developed. Is that how you feel? Um, yeah, I guess. And I... Just don't know how to get in on some characters sometimes, especially when they're playing smart and like how they're supposed to. So other people who are good in neutral give you a hard time. Yeah. Okay. Can you kind of give me a, an accurate idea of like how you did in the tournament? Like. Um. um so I haven't been going a lot because I'm just not really happy what I'm playing lately, but. I went to a bunch of Purdue locals, and I made it out of pools at Evo this year, but that's about it. Okay. So at Purdue, what was the most recent tournament you went to? Uh, I went to their locals, and I did okay, but I haven't gone a bunch this semester. Okay. So what was the last local you went to, or the last, you know, smaller tournament you went to? Um, like, a month and a half ago. Okay. And who, who won the tournament? Um, Banana Sack. And then, how did you do? I got fourth. Okay. Losing to um someone named Fury and then Banana Sack. Okay. Fury was like second or third. Then. He got third, okay. I think. Yeah. Well, it looks like overall your positioning is okay. Um, overall, your your damage is kind of okay. What we kind of want to do is develop your plan a little bit better. So wait, I actually main Falco a little bit over Fox. I'm trying to switch to Fox, so I play Fa Falco into Sheik, and then Fox into other characters. Oh, that's interesting, because uh, most people in your position would favor Fox against Sheik. No, I actually enjoy this matchup a lot more on the Falco side. Okay, well, I'll teach you uh, whichever one you prefer. Um, right. I think they're both... I'll work on this one for Sheik, and then Fox for Peach, because that's usually what I try to do. Okay. Um... I'll try to not give you too many specifics on each of the space animals and try to give you big uh, overall kind of goals then since um, the Yeah, characters... because I feel I'm pretty apt in both because I feel pretty confident that it's not a tech skill issue anymore, so I'm not trying to grind anything. It's kind of just 
figuring out what to do in situations and making the right call every time. Sure. Um, so if you, why don't we play at least a stack or two from with your Falco, so I can just kind of see how you maneuver Falco. <laughs> <laughs> so initially what I like about it is that you're positioning not too on top of Sheik, but rather like using Bear and other big moves to open up. So you're starting off right. You have a little bit of a hard time playing and talking at the same time, so we're, we'll we'll take more pauses in between. But um, cool. how how did you feel on that map? I hate Founder Dreams. I'm kind of like a typical space animal with the caveat that I play different matchups, mm -hmm. and um, so I definitely I guess say I'm a fox main, but I play Falco kind of as a crutch because it's the character I played prior to switching to fox. So I have a longer play time on it, therefore a little bit more comfortability on it. Mm -hmm. So I guess like this thing that happens occasionally in tournament is if I play a bad player, my fox can lose to a bad player because it does more auto pilot kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. And my Falco has a much more developed neutral kind of based around his options. And I can just kind of destroy low level players with my Falco, which whereas may not always happen with Fox. So but I can keep trying Fox into Sheik, and I have, I think, a good sense of it, and I think I shy away from it just because I'm not that good at it yet. So It's it's tough for me to make this decision for you, and it's it's even tougher for me because uh, I can only direct you in, in one way in, within this one hour, right? Like, I, yeah. I, I really cannot help you with your personal problem between the two characters and your personal experience. No, yeah, I understand that. Yeah. Um, what, what, uh, what I guess I'm just, to... I'll explore Fox for this whole hour, I guess. I'm more interested in that. Okay. I have more to gain from that. Okay. Uh, what I will say, Jay, is that you're nailing something, though, which is uh, the comfort of your character will determine like how you play. And uh, when, when you say you're not comfortable with Fox, it, yeah, some people will just tell you to just grind some stuff out with Fox to feel more comfortable. But I, I feel like... Unless you, you really take your time to think about Fox differently from Falco, you're going to make the same mistakes as Falco, as you did um, picking up your new character, right? Even though well, no, that's the kind of thing. I actually felt like I hit a plateau with Falco, where I was not actually developing super quickly anymore. And then I switched to Fox, and then I was starting to beat players who I was usually losing to very quickly because I had a better understanding of how to use his options and how to kind of win a matchup based around his kind of, in my opinion, overpoweredness. So... I like used to lose to Marths a lot, and now I feel pretty comfortable in the Marth matchup more so than I do in the other floaty matchups. And like Falcon, 
Fox and Falco are my best matchups in the game. Okay, so if we had to direct this lesson from here, what would you want out of it? Um, working out how to approach characters that are Sheik and Peach with Fox. Okay. That's like, I guess, number one for me. Okay. Because from what I've gathered, from what I've gathered right now is that your, your positioning and your uh, your basic game plans are fine, right? Um, so so let's just uh, stop moving for a second so we can examine some stuff, all right? Sure. Um, so with, with Falco, you can kind of cheat the approach game with lasers. Yeah. Um, and I'm not going to go too far into that and how he uses lasers afterwards, but um, I, I really just need you to stand here and stop moving. Okay, okay. sure. All right. So when we're at this distance, I want you to realize a, f a few important things. Okay. You can recreate this distance any time during a match. By the way, right? So yeah. Why don't you just like dance around with me, right? So we're like playing, right? We're dancing around. And do you see how we we're recreating this horizontal distance I initially showed you, right? Yeah. Um, I want you to explore doing not these dash dances. You're doing dash dance too tight. You wanna you wanna be able to move. Sl uh, you're flicking from left to right still too fast. Like, I want you to delay the flick between left and right. A little bit more. You can delay actually quite some, a lot. Yeah, that's, yeah, right. So with, with this type of control, you start moving horizontally more instead of doing this. When you, when you dash like, dash test like this, Jay, you're actually not in control. Yeah, I understand that. I actually totally agree with that. Right. The what you're and if I do longer doing, ones, I have longer times to react, and I'm still in dash. Yeah, when you're doing this, you're actually putting yourself in a very difficult execution test. Will you flick correctly in the right amount of momentum? Right. So you want to slow down your dash times. You're still doing it too fast, in my opinion. Okay. I just don't want to get stuck in the dash itself. So you I'll can't get stuck in the dash itself. You can never get stuck in the dash itself. You can only get stuck in run. What you're worried about is run. You will not get stuck in run if you just let go of the stick. So I want you to press left, let go, then press right. Right, and then you, you're going to speed this up a little bit. Yeah, exactly. Right, so there you go. Where You're starting to notice like the full length, and you can, you can stop and keep going, right? And you need to vary the speed between left and right. And you were starting to do this as you were like dash dancing left and right, right? Like I keep dash dancing to the right by having longer strides to the right. Yeah. Exactly, right? So I, one is I just need you to, to control your horizontal in more accurate and different ways. Because right now, when you when you dance with me in neutral, this is what you look like. Yeah, and it's not super effective. Well, here's what I'll also say, is that, um, do you see where I am as Sheik, right? Yeah. Like, this is what you're doing, and you're like only here the whole time. Yeah, I'm not actually covering any distance. Yeah, you're, you're in the same amount of distance, and you're not tricking me in any regard to um, horizontal space, right? So uh, let's let's stop moving for a second, all right? When we're at this distance, and there's a reason why I show you this distance, okay? It's because I can't hit you without you reacting, right? Yeah. So I, I want you to notice this in all of your matchups from now on, okay, Jay, is that you can just personally choose to never, ever be in neutral to unreactable situations. No, I, I use this a lot in the Falcon matchup where I just stay outside of his like momentum there. And then if I am in his momentum there, I'm in a certain distance where I know I can crouch cancel into an up smash or something. Perfect. And I, so, I understand like using its specific distance. So I guess I have to apply that more in this matchup. Yeah, so what you I guess I don't dash well. I don't dash well at all. And you called it out hard. Yeah, it's, it will. Practicing your different dashes takes a little creativity in practice, but what you're getting at with Falcon is that you know his threat range, and you know... So, like, you talked about Nair, right? Like, you're yeah. like, I, I'm outside of all of his threats except for one, and I prepped for that one, right? You said, like, I can crouch cancel or I can interrupt or whatever, right? And this is actually yeah. a really good plan against Falcon. This is actually the way I teach the Falcon matchup, which is interrupt his jump. Yeah, I, I totally agree with that. That's a huge way to win that matchup. Yeah, you, you stand kind of far away and you interrupt his jump. I'm glad you, yeah. like... You, you, and if you get laid in it, you can still trade and then take positive advantage position on him. Exactly, right? And so what you're doing right now is you're understanding the threat range and then you're, um, what's the word? You're kind of, like, pocketing or, like, ensuring against one of the options, right? Like, if Nair happens, I, I can I can do this, 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 and this, right? So yeah. you, you need to apply this to all of your matchups and all of your approaches, okay? So, okay. like, with Sheik... She, like, I have to stay outside of your dash attack range. So, like, what is that, like, here? 
Yeah, it's it's dash attack and boost grab. So, yeah, boost I'll, grab too. Yeah, I'll show you the boost grab range. Okay, right about there is. Right. So when we stand still, I'll show you. It's, it's right here. Okay. So at all times, especially with your dash dance, I'm gonna just teach you right now how to control the dash dance better. Okay. So let me let me be Fox right now. Sure. All right. So pretend. Um. Sorry. Oops. Who are we? I'm this one. Okay. So pretend you're Sheik, or we're in the same distance that we're just talking about, right? Yeah. So the the trick is is that when I like go in and out of this distance, right? I I don't push forward. I need you to I need you to stop so that I can show yeah. you the distance. So if I come here, I start threatening myself, right? So yeah. When you dash dance, you, you don't want this. You don't you don't want this because one is you start losing control. I can't go left and right as easy. I start getting pinned to here, right? Yeah. And then the other one is you want to control how how many times or where you go in, right? So when I dash dance like this to you, there are a few times where I cross this line, right? Yeah, and like you could go in again or just go back. So you're yeah. making unpredictability. Exactly. And there are a lot of times where I'm actually crossing the line and then drawing you backwards. Do you, do you see how I keep dashing yeah. back? Yeah, exactly. So. I want you right now to, to think about manipulating your horizontal distance more. And you do this with Falcon, naturally, right? But yeah. with Dash Dance 2, right? With Falco, you can kind of for, uh, control the horizontal distance with, like, jumping lasers, uh, maybe aerials and stuff, right? Your Dash Dance speed is not as high as Fox's. Yeah. Fox can, can just control okay. the game by, right, like, with just Wave Dash and Dash Dance and reposition, right? Yeah. And you've seen a lot of Foxes do some sort of version of this. Right? Where they're outside, they're outside, and they just they stop. They yeah, and then they jump in. Yes, right? And there's a big, strong reason for this stop. It's because when I'm moving like this, I'm juking you, I'm baiting you, I need to confirm something that just happened. Oh, he did this. I'm outside of this, right? I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, and let's say I'm you. You did this, right? I'm here, I'm yeah. here, I'm, I stop, and then I punish your nair. Right. Yeah, I, I understand that 100%, like, trying to wave dash back and bait things out and trying to move my... I guess I just have to use longer dash answers because I do do it too quick, and therefore it becomes a lot more predictable. Right, and, and not only that, Jay, it's the distance, right? It's not just how you dash dance tight, right? I'm trying to teach you... you one is you, you still are just dash dancing too fast. Look at how I'm doing it. Okay, I understand. You have to let go of the stick so that... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm moving it just too quick. I'm doing too many actions per second. Yeah, and, and, and you're you're making it tougher on yourself. When you move the control stick that fast, I, I guarantee you you're not accurate. You're not, like, jumping out doing, like, the perfect thing, you know? Yeah. Right? So give yourself a little bit of leeway. Give yourself a little bit of time to react. And and when you see this animation, that that's, yeah. that's your cue for, like, did he hit me? Did he hit me while I was showing this? You know, like, yeah, because then you can just dash back in. So. Exactly. But if you're too busy doing this, you actually can't tell where you are or control yeah. the pull away, right? And I keep telling you this pull away thing. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to go back sorry, to Sheik, okay? Okay. So I showed you the speed and the, the type of dash dancing you want to do, okay? So I want you to kind of show me this dash dance spacing. Okay, so you're going to go in and out, in and out. Sometimes, yeah, there you go. And you want to go a little bit slower. You're still a little too fast. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's tough because I, I well, think... Well, I'm overthinking it. Yeah. This is better. And you can speed up certain times too. You, there's definitely times where you can speed up or not. Okay. And so what I'll tell you right now is sometimes you're just a little too close. You never want to be too close to this. And when we talked about that, that threat range... Uh, let's stop moving for a quick second. When we talked about that threat range, it was like here, right? There are many yeah. times where you're not only stepping over the line, but you're stepping over to like halfway over the line, right? What what I need you to do is, is almost think of this like a hard line, and you cover you you pass it barely, or you tiptoe onto it, you know? Okay. Because if if you keep crossing it, I'm just gonna boost grab you. Exactly. Okay. Right. You need yeah exactly. You need to trick me into thinking oh he's actually too close. And then I'm gonna commit to stuff. And then I need to just not get hit. So yeah, let's yeah, exactly. make it work. Right. So I literally just made a, a an exercise 
for my friend who who got too close too much you have the same problem as one of my friends in real life is that he gets too close all right okay um so uh press a pick fox and make me fox too go to ft turn me to human you don't have to do this at home but for now turn me to human cp yeah sick okay and then um item Spawn me a motion sensor. Right. Where is it? Here. Alright. So. Alright. You need to dash dance in such a way where you get close to the mine, but you don't hit it. Right? Does that make sense? So let, let's just kind of think about neutral. <laughs> okay. God fucking damn. Yeah. You can spawn, spawn another one. Spawn another one. Alright. Alright. So uh, stand back. Alright, so when when Sheik uh, stand a little closer to me. Okay. Yeah, when Sheik uh let's make it equidistant, so you back up a little bit. Yeah, okay. So like me me and you are fighting as Sheik Fox, right? Pretend I'm Sheik. Right? Yeah. Show me how you be dash dancing. Right? You just you just never <laughs> never ever want to get hit by that mine. Right? And maybe I should be chic so this visualization is a little bit better, right? No, I understand it. I just can't execute it. And you can keep going back. You need to peel back just a little bit more, right? So basically, this is like me running up smashing you. And you, you, can, you can slow down the dash a tiny bit. Yeah, I'm doing it really close again. Yeah, you're still doing a little too close. And why don't, why don't you just uh, do it and I'll, I'll show you what I would do. Right? That was a practice run. Oh, what? Okay. Right. I want you to watch me. Don't, 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 don't do your thing yet. God, fuck. Uh... Do you see how much further away I am from you? Yeah. And I'm only coming in at certain times with control, right? I, like, yeah. understand when I'm about to come in and I pull back. There are too many times where you're dancing very close to it. There you go. Okay, but I fucking... I just keep just doing too slow. And it's funny, I literally just made this exercise yesterday, but it, it's a good teaching tool for neutral. Because you, you're not aware of how far forward you go. Yeah, not well enough. Yeah. If you want to dodge, like, if I was Marth, just spamming F smash, you know, could you dash yeah. dance just outside of it? And right now, it looks like you just don't have enough discipline. Yeah, I try to do it just too quick. I know I can do it slower. Yeah, you can do it slower. Better. That's much better, right? And then you're also going to get control over how this looks, right? Because there are a couple times you're backing off and it doesn't look quite right. Yeah, I was spending too much time going back. It's okay, man. You'll, you'll, you'll figure out this rhythm, too. But what's I'm important is that... I'm killing myself so much. Exactly. What's important is that you just don't hit the mine. And it, you can start even more conservative, right? Right now you're being yeah. kind of like the edgy gamer. Like, oh, let's do perfect stuff. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> as soon as you say it, goddamn. It's just because you, you don't you're not scared of it, right? I want you to be scared of it. I'm trying to be. I'm trying to be. So so yeah, imagine Fox is gonna just come at you in neutral, right? He, this is where he could up smash you or grab you or dash grab you, right? Okay, I figured out kinda where I'm doing it where I go too far though. With your dash. Because I I overdo it. I just literally overdo it, and I move two times. Oh yeah, your hand. You, okay, so you're figuring out mechanically what's going on with your hand. Okay. Yeah. Good. So yeah, just keep it simple, and then the times you do decide to go in, have a plan to go back. Yeah, and then good. Now you're mixing in other things, right? Yeah. And you're like, uh, this is this is a great approach foxes will do, right? Which is well, they'll come in close, and they'll kind of peel back with the dare. <laughs> Right? And there's reasons why the top players do this, right? It's because of control. They want to, like, get close, and then maybe you even shield stop, you know? <laughs> you, yeah, you can, try, you can try a bunch of things. Shield stopping, dash dancing, wave dash down. Wave dash down might help you. 
Yeah, I use wave dash down when I'm doing the really quick one, and that's how I do like quick adjustments of it. But I don't like it. I like the idea of doing more controlled, slower, deliberate ones. Well, if you watch Hacks Money, this is how he looks, right? Yeah. He's always repositioning himself. So do as much as you can with positioning yourself and making sure that you just don't hit the mine, right? Like, right now you just need control in such a way that when you know the distance, right, you're just not passing it. And there's just too many times you're passing the distance. Yeah. I knew that one was just a fucking... <laughs> oh god, frustration. Yeah, you, you gotta... One is just be okay with like learning new dashed systems. Yeah, just keep it calm. Nice. I see a lot of difference in control. A lot of deliberacy. There you go. And then okay. Also, when you start peeling out, when you start doing that double dash, yeah. think about doing like a wave dash stop. Or like a, a, a quick turnaround, right? Like you can you can just dash dance really quickly. Oops. That's fine. Yeah, there you go. Right. So now you have much more control, and you're not you're not just like falsely entering the zone without conscious. Right? Oh my God, C stick! What are you doing? And be sure when you're practicing this too to make sure that your, your form on your back dash looks okay, right? Yeah. Because you don't what you don't want is um you, you learn how to dash dance, but then you just get cornered into here. Right? You like yeah. just keep pulling back. You want to always make sure you can at least hold your distance. Exactly right. So now now you're like learning some control. Like I can't go too far forward, but I can't go too far back without a plan. Oh, you're cornered as fuck, but... <laughs> <laughs> That's all good, dude. I'm, I'm glad you're, you're getting some of this idea down, right? The importance of moving quickly without setting things off. Yeah. Alright. This will be one of your homework assignments. Let's try not to spend too much more time on this. Alright. Um, let, let's write this down real quick, though. Is that... Um... Uh, respect to neutral distance, uh, dash dance control, and dash dance control. Those are the two cool. first things we're learning. Respect to neutral distance, dash dance control. Yeah. So now let's do this quick exercise. Let's just start off exactly, right? So you're going to just kind of play in this zone, and I'm going to do a couple approaches at you so you, you can kind of okay. feel what it looks like in, in neutral, okay? Okay. So go ahead and dance in that spot, right? And I'm kind of just like walking forward doing four tilts right now, right? All right. So this is just me doing the four tilt spam and you figuring out that kind of spacing. All right, you feel comfortable now? Wow. Dude, Jay, you're doing way better. You're doing way better okay. than before. Yeah, a lot more control on going forward. Okay, so now I'm not going to do a, a, as basic, right? I'm going to mix in dash attack or boost grab, okay? Okay. okay. Two. Right, good. Now, you're going to get better at the, like, the move you do into, you know, the punish, right? But right now, like, your neutral game is just so good I can't even touch you. There you go. Good, good distance. Good distance. Too close. No, it's okay. It's okay. Sometimes you, you like make a read that like I'm not gonna dash attack, or maybe you block it. You know. Move it, call. Alright, so now I'm going to teach you the second part of this, right? Okay, so why don't you go back to the left? Because you were doing a good job with this neutral distance kind of thing. Can you back up one okay. dash length? Sure. 
So what what started to happen was you started to respect this distance, and you're starting to pull me in, right? So yeah. I'm just showing you what Sheik will do. Sheik will move forward and consistently wave dash back or trick you, right, into corner yourself. Okay. Yeah, I'll get me back to ledge. Yes, right. So um, a lot of people, when they first learn this, like, neutral distance thing, they're like, yeah. bro, this distance is so far. How, I, how am I ever going to hit Sheik? And it, it's sick that you already knew this kind of method with Falcon, right? Yeah. So Sheik is not going to like horizontally just kind of throw herself in right so yeah what you want to do is kind of like what we sh we, we talked about earlier which is just get closer and reassess the distance right like how close um like near f tilt range like yeah i would say like right outside of f tilt range and when you're certain i can't boost grab or dash attack right so there will be times where um we're playing neutral like and should i be coming in with like a nair i guess you can come with nair drill you can come in with a full hop you can do uh, back air, right? Sometimes Fox will just like be in this position back here. Yeah. Right. How so, much bigger is the bear distance than the F tilt? F tilt. Like so. Like that's mine? F tilt. Yeah. Uh, they're comparable. They're comparable. Okay. So when I mentioned these moves, they they all kind of branch from this range, right? Which is like this full hop range or this short hop range, right? Do you see how this this stationary jump is like about? This yeah, it had a drift. Yeah, yeah, so why don't you show me the distance of the stationary jump that you can reach me? Oh, like that? Yeah. yeah. Right. So what I'm getting at is when when you get to this spot where you can just jump out of neutral, right? That that's yeah. like a clean spot for you to whiff punish a lot of my stuff, right? So so why don't you just stand still for a second, right? Let's say you are dancing around. Not not standing still, but you're dancing around around the area that you're at, right? Sure, I do okay. this. Yeah. And then you basically just wave dash down, jump into me. Exactly, right? So like you're doing this big wide dance, like pretty far away from me, or I'm doing this this thing to pull you in, right? Yeah. And then basically your your next move is to exactly get close, see what she's doing, and then go. In. Yeah. Most of your toolkit will beat Sheik. Uh like straight up. She has to kind of Yeah, like, I just have to get in. I just gotta get out of her hitboxes. Exactly, exactly right. So that's why you always wanna kinda of be close and threaten her. Because anytime she throws out something, there's a chance you could have just straight up won. I'm gonna miss tech. The, uh, the neutral distance that, that you're playing at. It just needs a little bit more um, control. Alright. Let's, let's play another one. Hey, I'm platforms. Huh? 
I tried to DI out, but it didn't take far. Yeah. It's pretty much over after that dash tech. Wow, I keep losing to that, uh... Uh, just straight up. Yeah. Or er, on your up be recovery. Mm, shouldn't like fly on that buffer all that. Nah. So a quick note before you finish this last talk is that this horizontal distance on this map is actually quite large. Right? Yeah. So uh the fight is actually quite quite tricky, right? Because one is that Anytime we like get yeah get out of this range, you're at the ledge, and the ledge changes this uh, fight dramatically. Right? Yeah, because you can become invincible and stuff. And and same with like how I guard platforms. Um, yeah, exactly. So I want I want you to to realize on this stage, and, and this is a, a mistake a lot of players make, is that um, when you want to reestablish this kind of spacing, because you know it's good in the neutral, right? Don't, don't yeah. be afraid to fight on this stage, on Yoshi's, in a, in a very large and wide way, right? You, you don't have to fight yeah. like center ground, I'm on top of you the whole time. Right? It's okay to be, like, this far away on the map. Okay. Just wanted to caveat that. through the lesson how do you feel so far pretty good um let's play a few more games i bet i can get a few pointers out of you for that okay i feel like i have a pretty good understanding of it but um i could definitely take some pointers i got you i got you so yeah it, it just seems one second it seems like the the big neutral oops my headphones just popped oh sorry the big neutral distant thing is uh kind of like clicking with you already because you you had that with falcon <laughs> The kind of like a uh, way of fighting neutral with Falcon before, and now you just gotta like control Fox a little bit better. Um, a few things I can I can stand to see from you. Can you show sure. me um, drill from where you're standing? Oh, like to you? Yeah, onto me. Yeah, so like right now you're, you're yeah. I need a little bit more of this dash drill to work out for me. Yeah, and then dash near too. I don't I don't see these types of approaches enough from you. Okay. And, uh, I just always feel like they're really predictable because even even if I'm doing like that, like any kind of like dash dance, I have to wait for something before I'll go in. Uh, yeah. Generally, yeah, that's what I'm getting at, Jay. Is that you, you never proactive with the aerial, right? And if, because you're never proactive, I'm not scared of it, right? Okay. Bec because you're only waiting for something, it's a little too easy for me to not respect your forward-facing movement, right? So let's look at this distance one more time. Um, when we get to here, and I, I was the first one to tell you to pull back, right? But when we get yeah. to here, 
there's some falcons or sorry foxes that will dash grab me near me up smash me or any of these things right so i i need to see these tools out of you a little bit more and i okay. to see you uh use them right by using the technique of putting your, your foot past the line a little bit and then go. Okay. Right. Yeah, and that's, then making the call. Yes. That's one of the cues. The the other cue is gonna be whenever you uh dash forward a tiny bit, right past yeah. the line, if I give you this response of going back, then you make the decision. I just start pressing, yeah. Exactly. You make the decision based off the, the space on the, the stage. Okay. Sick. How you're slipping off each time? I I'm not exactly sure. Um, I'm just holding on. I like slipping off. Okay. I shouldn't have held it out that time. Yeah, so it just seems like your, your dash control could use a tiny bit of improvement. I'll be at that mark. Okay. Um, you didn't want to work on the peach a little bit, or like the other neutrals? I'll work on peach a little bit, actually. That's Peach is my worst matchup. I lose to horrible peaches, and I can't really figure out why. I like have drilled shining. All my shine options, or out of shine options, I have down. I just, for some reason, lose this matchup. Okay. And I even feel like I'm confident in it. Okay. Like, I don't know. We can play. You'll see. I DI very poorly combos and ugh, get caught out for dumb things. Okay. I would say um, these types of things will happen in all your matches, right? Especially with uh, Peach who trades a lot. Uh, yeah. There are a lot of space animals who, who are bad at not trading. And then they take trade damage and then they combo bad because they're trading. Yeah, that's definitely one of me. Like, that describes me pretty well. Yeah, so let's... I, like, do really well in combos where I don't trade, but with Peach, I find myself... You have to force trades to take advantageous positions, and that's something I've come to understand. But I find that her advantageous positions kill me more often than mine, and that's the worst thing. I can't figure it out. 
uh, I would definitely say that trading is not not good on against Peach. I would I would trade the least amount possible with Peach. Yeah. Right. So you you need to examine all your moves that have clean entry and have the least amount of trade. Right. And I would I would definitely go back and examine some of your matches and ask yourself what what did I trade with or what what did I do that was like low certainty. Right. So okay. why don't why don't you explain to me where you would be in neutral? I actually am pretty aggressive in this matchup. I like being pretty close to her and then trying to get on her pretty much constantly. I don't like giving her any space to float on me. I like, consider myself losing if she's in there floating near me and has the ability to get a fair off before I can get there with a the nair. That's like a loss scenario. Okay, I'll tell you that she's definitely going to fair in the game and you're not going to be able to nair before many times. Yeah. Um, because the way, you're, the way you're describing it is you want to smother her and I, I would definitely not suggest that's that's the way you want to fight the matchup. Okay. Right. If you smother her, you're going to trade. Yeah, definitely. That's just the nature of it. Is that she's? But she's, I feel like if I don't smother her, I get picked apart with trades. So it's like I have to like make sure I do like can't, large. She can't. She can't. Okay, hold up, Jay. Hold up. She she can't trade with you, from here. Yeah. Right. So so like go back and re-examine what you said. You said you keep you keep pressing in or or putting your body on top of her because you don't want her to trade with you. Yeah. So then like Wait, what I mean up, is like up. you're trading. You're causing the trades. Yeah. Stop causing the trades. So then... She's not causing the trades, Jay. That's the misconception. She cannot put herself on top of you to make trades. Yeah. Right? So, I understand that. Well, here, here's what I'm getting at. Is that any time you guys trade, it's Fox's fault, not Peach's fault. Right? So yeah. you, you need to stop smothering her. You need to stop staying on top of her in such a way that you think, like, if I'm not attacking her, we're going to trade. Right. If you're attacking her, you're gonna trade. That that's actually the logic. It, yeah. it's, it's not if I'm not smothering her, if I'm not attacking her, I'm gonna trade. It's because you're always on top of her, right? So, well, I, so let's play. A game. I'll show you what I mean by like what I mean by smothering. Because smothering might not be the best word for what I mean. It's just that I like to stay near to on top of her, just in like. Frying pan got your jump. Thank you. 
Damn. All right, Jay. Uh, I didn't chain grab you too bad. In this map, no, gives you, yeah, this map gives you the most control over the horizontal approaches. So, what was I supposed to see differently than your smothering peach? What, what were you trying to explain to me about? What, what should I see in the front of me? Um, I guess I try and stay on top of peach. That's like when I guess the like literally above peach is like my gameplay. Yeah. There are a lot of times where I saw you in this spot trying to full hop on top of me. Yeah, literally trying to full yeah. hop and fall with something. Yeah, and I would de define this as smothering in a turn, right? There are lots of times okay. where you, you lost to me crouching and down smashing you. There are lots of yeah, times but... where I wave dash back down smashed you. And uh -huh. do you remember we talked about Sheik where I said, like, this is the range where you can stationary jump approach? Yeah. Right. Um, when I mentioned this to you, with Sheik, right? I didn't tell you to, to play neutral at this distance, right? This is what you would whiff punish at. Right? Yeah. So so right now, you're standing where you're whiff punishing at, and all of neutral. Like, literally all of neutral, you're standing here. Here. Okay, so I should be further away and then try and get into this zone occasionally exactly. and then act on it. Exactly. Okay. So like, I agree with that, definitely. I try to stay way too close. Exactly. The lesson that we literally just applied for Sheik, you kind of skip that first part where you where it's like assess neutral a little bit farther away, and, and, and then um, come to the whiff spot, right? And then yeah, jump, right. Don't live in the whiff spot. Exactly. You're you're living in the whiff spot, and then you're like forcing the whiff spot every time. You're like, I'm here, fight. Yeah. I'm here, fight. And what I'm getting at is like the instinct to fight Peach needs to be reduced. Okay. Right. Anytime you you force this spot, right? Instead of naturally coming at the spot and then you jump at me, I'm gonna hit you with something. Yeah. Like Peach's intention is to trade at this moment. She will do everything she can to hit you to trade to trade to pop you up, knock you down, to do anything in her power. Right. So yeah. Go back to here. When we're here, and I opened this question before, right? You're like, let's play friendly. You'll see what I mean. When I said okay. when, when I'm here as Peach, I literally cannot trade with you. There's zero percent chance. Yeah. Right. So you need to lessen the trades. Right. It's up to you to lessen the trades. Okay. Right. I I, I as Peach can never initiate trades on you. But so that's why I try and do the like I'll like try and space out and do a falling back air. Okay. And so then hold I try on. and dash grab out of it or okay. something. Okay. So I want you to show me this full hop back air. Okay. Like so a me... late falling back air. Okay. So show me one more time. Okay. You did a full hop, and then you're about to do another double jump, right? No, I wouldn't. Yeah, okay, sure. Okay. This is where you started, right here. Yeah. Pretty much in the exact same spot we were just talking about. Mm -hmm. So it's, it doesn't matter what you're trying to do. You're literally doing the same thing we just talked about, which is you're, you're attacking from the whiff spot. Yeah. I, I don't care, like... And I'm living in here. Yeah, yeah. I don't care what move you do, how sneaky you think you are, if you mind game your way in. Like, anything you do is the exception, not the rule, right? Anytime you win here is the exception. Okay. What I'm explaining to you is the chances of you causing the trade are the highest possible at this moment with, she with Peach, right? Yeah. But when you're here, there's zero chance of trading. You have yeah. all the initiative, right? So yeah, exactly. It doesn't matter if you keep thinking you're gonna win with this full hop back here. One is it's just not that fast, right? Yeah. It's not. It's really move. predictable too. Really predictable. Easy to shield. Yeah. Well, Jay, what what you're doing is a whiff punish, right? You're standing where if I did something bad, then the back air hits me. Yeah. Right. So so don't stand in the whiff punish zone the whole game. Okay. Right. You, you want to get to the whiff punish zone after I do something, right? So if I'm yeah. here, if if I'm here, now you're in the perfect spot, right? Okay. I, until I'm in this animation, you don't want to be where you're standing. In the whip zone, really. Yeah, yeah, because I can choose to move back and do it, right? And if you're late, dude, if, if we're here and I do this, that, like, you cannot punish me, right? So, so don't, yeah. So don't think that, yeah, exactly. You have to make the next step, which is go to the whiff zone, right? Perfect, right? And this is literally the proximity mine challenge, which is yeah. stop getting into the whiff zone. Perfect, right? And this just involves you playing neutral farther away, the same way you played Sheik, right? Which is don't contest, react to everything, get to the whiff spot, do clean damage. Oh, 
Oh golly. I double jumped right into it trying to get over it. Jeez. Red as fuck. Why'd you jump like that? Right. Okay. So another thing, Jay, is you, you keep doing this jump, double jump, right? And I, yeah. and I and I keep asking you, where did you start, right? So show me a full hop. All right. So no matter where you jump from this spot, you started here, right? Yeah. So that's all I'm looking at. When when you jump, double jump, and leave the spot on the ground, I literally yeah. can just get to where you started, and then like dash yeah. attack or down smash your landing, right? So yeah, okay. I want you to realize when you jump like this, Fox forfeits his horizontal momentum, especially for standstill. Which is what he has. Yeah. Yeah. If you okay, full hop, that's, that's fair. That's fair. Yeah. If you full hop from dash, you have much more horizontal dis uh, drift in, in in variability, right? Yeah. But there's too many times where you're doing like a standing full hop in neutral, right? Yeah. And then you double jump, and it, it's it's the variance on where you are is too low. Okay. Good. Good shield. Okay, so another quick thing. Another another quick thing. So remember we talked about this distance? Let's let's stop. Yeah. Let's stop. Let's stop. I, I wanna talk about this distance. Uh, way dash forward. Okay. So this distance is similar to Pete uh Sheik, right? Yeah. But I want you to, to take care note of two things. Okay. One is unlike Sheik, you don't have to dash dance backwards from this position. Yeah, I'm not that threatened. Yeah. And, and there's one reason why you, you don't have to dash dance, right? It's because of ground speed, right? Yeah. So as Fox, and as especially as Falco or other characters, I would try to stand forward to Peach, right? And do like like maybe a little like retreating uh, down airs. But basically, don't show your back unless you have a plan with like back air or up tilt, right? Um, just because if you show your back, there's a chance I'm going to do this. Yeah. Right? And... My other moves are, are pretty bad in general. So if you turn your back and start doing back airs from this position, yeah, I actually run into the back air and you can do it like low, like the falling version. Right now you're doing rising, yeah. You wanna do the short oh, hop, well, short hop low. So uh, delay delay your back air on the short hop, there you go. And make sure you fast fall it, you're not fast falling. Why am I fucking up? You'll, you'll make them look better. Just watch Kelly do the backers and like this. But basically, you see this neutral spot is like, I will run into this spot and you back here, right? And then you also have up tilts too, right? So definitely think about controlling the space and, and not necessarily showing your back in all your matchups when we talk about um, this spot, right? So when we go back to neutral, um, Stan, yeah. So when we go back to neutral, you don't always have to show your back when we're here. Mm -hmm. Um unless you have a plan, right? When you're here, you can just basically anticipate dash attack, and Peach cannot even grab that easily from this distance, right? So, uh, face me, and then, yeah, we're in this zone. So, like, Peach's grab, you have enough notice with this, right? Yeah. So there's a lot of times where you don't even have to do dash dance, you can just kind of reaction block that. Yeah, or crouch hands. Or crouch hands, exactly, right? So, when, when you notice this range, just like with the Falcon uh, neutral that you talked about, remember, think about the one or two tools that you're insuring against, right? Yeah, yeah, what you're capable of coming back with. Exactly, and, and in this case, what I'm mentioning to you is you don't have to dash dance. You don't have to show your back all the time. Of course, moving okay. back is fast and, and good, but uh, especially with Marth Peach or any of these other matchups, I, I try to face her. Just because her horizontal speed is so low that you have enough time to kind of keep your face towards her, right, and make a plan. That makes sense. Yeah. Cool. All right. Our lesson is just about done. Do you want to kind of end it with just a friendly? Yeah. I want to do a best of three where I play your Marth the first game and then I guess Sheik the next game and then we can get final comments. 
Sure, no problem. So we'll just end it with the best of three. Let me make sure we write down everything. So dash dance control. Um, with punish range. Yeah. Uh, not playing. Uh, with punish range. Um, full hop. Um, Less full hopping. Well, full hop horizontal momentum is the note I really want to, for you to learn. Is that when, when you full hop the way you are, you, you land yeah. where you start pretty much, right? Because you're, you're not doing a dash before it. Okay. Right? So because you, you don't have enough momentum when you full hop, it's not very tricky. I, I always see how you're falling down on top of me. All right. Ready? Don't do me like that. <laughs> I mean, you back through up smash me. <laughs> Good shit. That wasn't even a real combo, but it worked. You know what it is. <laughs> it's trash. It's trash. Oh, wow. Yeah, falling up there out of the jab. Wow. Nice. 
Oh, did I just edge cancel that? Yeah, it was really weird. Oh, wow, I turned around. I got some wispy help, really. No F tilt! <laughs> what a gank. Oh, you won't. Wow. <laughs> nice essence. Oh, my chain was supposed to pull you down. Lessons. Yeah, of course, man. The replay in uh, all this fight will be up. Um, one thing I kind of wanted to mention was that uh, there are a few times you kind of just got close to me and did this like vertical big full hop. Yeah, yeah, okay. I definitely agree. I do that like panicky. Um, it's, it's, a, it's Yeah, it's a decent whip punish. I want you to, to think about doing that and um, mixing in short hop or just getting close and then like backing off a few times just because the, the full hop is a little slow sometimes. Alright, that makes sense. And then I gave you the proximity mine homework. I like that one, yeah, I'm gonna do it a bunch. Yep. Um, we talked about neutral distance, dash dance control, with punish range, full hop, horizontal momentum. Um, not forcing traits, yeah. Not forcing, not attacking Peach too much. Yeah, I agree. Um, you use stuff like that full hop back air, which, you know, when, when you get the hard hit on Peach, is a good contesting move, but like it kind of just like, you know, hits her away, and then you don't have to fight her too hard again, you know. Yeah, yeah and I should try and focus on just not trading. Like, exactly. I am dumb about the way I trade. Yeah. Exactly. All right, man. Thanks. I wrote a bunch of notes in a word document, so I got it too. Perfect, dude. Um, thanks. I'll message you my PayPal information. Thank you so much. Have a good one. All right, you too, dude. All right. What's up, chat? It's been an hour. Sorry for not really talking. I, I tried to type a few times to, to talk to you guys, but it's really difficult to give a personalized lesson and, you know, respect his, his time. Well, respecting you guys' time. Uh, Pat, Pat's still in the chat. Pat, you, you trying to get another lesson? No, dude, I'm, I'm down to, to do it with you if, you if you want. I just need a, a quick break in between. What's up, Zycor? Thanks for tuning in. I've been I've been okay. Uh, a little tough personal life stuff, but I've been 